Hi friends and welcome back to Lemon Tree Corner. This week in the studio we are doing some catch up and some planning. So this week we are going to be working on our noodle head bags. I don't know if you can see that. Quite reflective. So B plus pattern. This is the one, um, noodle head pencil pouch, is the one I like to make with all the smaller scraps that I can't make a larger bag out of. This is the perfect pattern for that. So what we have done is we have cut out all of our scraps from all of the things we made last year. So all of our smaller scraps. I think I've got about 20 of these bags, so they're all cut and ready to go. I just need to sew them, attach the fusible fleece, and then put them all together. So we'll work on that this week. And here's a whole other stack that I have. So you can tell there, there's a lot of them that we have to make this week. And then after I make those, what we're going to do is um, on Memorial Day weekend here in the States, we get a nice long weekend. So I am going to take that three days to uh, photograph all of the items and get them in the shop. We might go through a little pricing with the newer items that I haven't sold before and just kind of talk through how I price items. And then we've got all of those fabrics that we put in the project sleeves a couple of weeks ago. We have to pick out what pattern we're going to make with those, so which bag we're going to make for each of those. So I'll take you through that process as well. And then we also got some more yarn. I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more yarn, but TL Yarn Crafts is doing a Make Along and a Crochet Academy. So if you've not signed up for that, I'll put a link below the Crochet Academy. She just sends you emails and there's um, things on her blogs, tutorials that help you be a better crocheteist. So I haven't had time to watch any of those, but I have all the links um, and all the emails that I can look through when I have time to do that. But Lion Brand Yarns is also doing a kit for the um, make along. So she's got three or four patterns as part of this Crochet Academy that we have kits available. You don't have to, you could just buy the pattern as well. But the kit comes with the pattern and the yarn. So I will show you that and unboxing of that. And yeah, we'll go over that beautiful pattern. It's a, it's kind of like a farmer's market bag that, that I'm gonna make. I bought two kits. So I'm gonna try those out. And she's got the make along coming up or crochet along. So I'll put a link for that as well. Yeah, I don't know that she's given all the information out about that yet, but I'm excited to participate. It's going to be a really fun week, and my sister and I are doing an artsy thing on Saturday. So if I can take you along on that, I will also include a few clips of whatever artsy project we get up to. And we're at 400 subscribers! Yay! So thank you all for helping me reach that goal of 400. The next goal is 500. So once again, if you know anybody who is crafty and likes watching studio vlogs or is into any of this stuff, I would love it if you would share one of my videos with them, um, make a comment on a video, like a video, any of those things that you do to interact with the video really boosts, boosts the video and helps get it seen by other people. So. I would love it if you could help me out with that. And thank you so much to everybody who has taken a moment to hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It warms my heart. And I love having you all here with me in the studio every week. Go ahead and grab a water or a cozy beverage. And let's put these bags together. So I got my shipment from Lion Brand Yarn. Uh, TL Yarn Crafts is doing a special uh, kit with them for this beautiful market bag. I will put it up here. It's just this gorgeous, uh, like, kind of like granny hexagon market bag. So it's one of the things she's doing for her crochet academy this year. And very excited. So I ordered the yarn. And I can't remember which one's which. I thought I was going to get a pattern with these, but there's no pattern. So maybe it was emailed to me. I'll check my email. And then I can't remember what colors went with what. Because I've got like a lot of green in here so I think yeah I can't remember what I even specified I ordered two different kits and you got to pick out the colors for each one so that's what I did but now I can't remember which colors go with which so I'm gonna go check my email <laughs> see if there's anything there 
Okay, so they did email me the pattern, which is very cool. Isn't that cute? So I've been talking about making crochet bags because I'm a bag maker as well as a crochetist. So um, really looking forward to this. And this is one of the patterns for the crochet along she has next month at the end of Crochet Academy. So I can do that. I also had to print out which colors go with which. So we've got the lime green, the pink, light pink, the dark green, and this one. Okay, so these four colors go together and I'm kind of mirroring what she's got going on here. So she's got the darkest in the middle. So I think what I was going to do was do either the dark green or the fuchsia in the middle and then lighter, lighter, lighter. So what I will probably do is the fuchsia in the middle so that the two greens can be next to each other. Oh, so it would be like this. So this would be the center of the hexagon or octagon, whatever it is, and then working your way out to lighter, lighter. I might even do this. I'll see, I'll see what I wanna do. And then the other ones are these ones. So I don't know if I was gonna do it this way or this way. At the time I had a plan and I don't know what that plan is anymore because it's been like a week since I placed the order. So I'm not sure. Here we have our project for the week, the Noodle Head Canvas Pencil Pouch, which we are not doing in canvas. <laughs> so we're just making pencil pouches out of <clears throat> the scraps that we have from other projects we've been doing over the last couple of years. So I've got everything cut. I've got the, I've got the zipper cut out, the fabric, everything, the tabs. So it's just gonna be a matter of assembling all of this and ironing. So the first thing we're going to do is piece together the side panels. So we've got these sides and these that we're going to piece together. So we've got <laughs> this one and this one. So we're going to sew these together. Um, I'd like to just assembly line sew them all together but then these are all so neatly arranged that I kind of want to make one bag at a time. But I know it would be a lot faster if we just assembly line sewed them. So we're going to sew, press it open, top stitch, and that's where it gets complicated because I'm going to want a different top stitch color for each of these. But maybe I can just go ahead and sew them all together with like a gray yarn, get all that done. And then the only other thing we have to do besides assembling is cut out the um, cut out the fusible fleece. So I'm basically gonna have to count how many of these are, and then I'm gonna have to cut out twice as many of of these in fusible fleece. Question is, how much fusible fleece do we have? Feels like we have quite a lot, but I'm sure after I start cutting these, it's gonna seem like it's not quite a lot. So yeah. I think we'll get set up in the sewing room. We'll go ahead and sew all these pieces together and get them top stitched and then we'll cut out all of the all of the other fabric. So during the pandemic I bought this whole Guterman set of threads that came in a big box because I couldn't get individual thread colors at Joann's. <laughs> I couldn't go to Joann's. I was trying to be very good about not going anywhere. So I could order the thread set, um, the big box of different colored threads from Joann's online and get those. So what I have is a bunch of these colors, like a light gray, a dark gray, kind of a taupey brown, like colors I don't normally need for top stitching. So I have a bunch of these colors that we can use just to be, you know, just for stitching that's not going to be seen and I can use up these colors and be frugal about the yarn. So 
so that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to assembly line sew all of the front panels together. And then I can do the top stitching. I can group them together with light colors and do the top stitching after that. And when I do the top stitching, I can also do the top stitching on the little the little finger loop handle and the um and the zipper tabs. So we'll do all that at one time. This orange will be good with this one, and then this orange will be good for that one. Um, question is, is that dark enough? I think it will have to be because we don't have very many options for, th for that. So let's get this switched out. My sister invited me to go to the Melrose Trading Post, which is kind of like a swap meet kind of thing. Had lots of millennials and clothes and fun stuff there to look at. Uh, our childhood friend, Sylvette, was a vendor there. She does an art in nature program with mostly kids, but um, also just has a master's in art, which is great. So. She was doing a project there, an outreach, and invited us to come. We had a nice time visiting with her and looking at the fair. So it's a very wonderful, beautiful day in Southern California. And they even had a granny square blanket on sale. <laughs> Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Hello to Mona I mistook you for a dream The engine glows And I guess you always seem to know Hello to Mona I push back the serious feeling The end's unknown To get back the life I used to know
show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know All in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know the tank up to a place where everybody gets along. The tetras are not being such jerks anymore since we moved the tank into the living room. So I'm tempted to get a few more tetras, but what I what I really wanted was the um, the bottom feeder and the guy that looks very very dinosaurish. You know, what's that called? Prehistoric. Prehistoric. So looking for my prehistoric Placostomus like cousin, which this is. So this bristle nose is gonna act the same way. He's gonna suck on the side of the tank. He's gonna clean the tank all the time and get it all nice and clean. So this guy is an albino. Uh, they only had albino bristle nose at the store today. So I'm kind of afraid he's gonna blend in to the rocks that I have on the bottom, but we'll see what happens. One eternity later. Okay, so we're gonna have to improvise here because we can't find our little mesh uh, fish strainer. I have no clue where it is. So I guess we're gonna get a little bit of store store water in our tank, but that's better. I don't want to damage him. I'm like looking at the metal, you know, the metal things, and I don't want to damage him. So. Ingenuity saves the day. Everybody's coming to the front. Everybody's coming to the front. They're like, we want attention. Hey folks, so that's it for this week. We have bags, yay! They're not all done, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags completed, so that's good. So, wonderful news. Uh, I actually made two of the same bag for once. I don normally don't do that. And then we have this one, our pumpkins, this cute one, our tulip pink fabric, and then our two what I call Norwegian wheat <laughs> fabrics. So that was nice to make a dent in that project. I have a lot more to go and next weekend is a long weekend. I think next week we're just gonna do a life in the week kind of thing, or a week in the life kind of thing. So um, I'm gonna be taking pictures of all the new bags, putting them in the shop. So I'll take you along with that journey. We'll kind of do a Saturday morning routine of what that's like and just do some some short vlog clips here and there and then I'll work on the rest of these bags I don't think I'm getting to a new bag next week but I did take Tuesday off so I get it's Memorial Day weekend here in the States so I'll have a four-day weekend this way and get lots of stuff done and take you along with all the odds and ends and then we didn't get to planning the future bags so we'll work on that next week as well and some pricing so you kind of get a behind the scenes of what it's like with the shop, updating the shop, pricing products, planning, all of that stuff. 
So I hope you enjoy that, and these should be in the shop in a couple of weeks if you have your eye on anything. Yeah, so I really like the Noodle Head Pencil Pouch pattern. It's very versatile. Um, let's just take a look again. It's just a big opening. So you could put pencils, art supplies, uh, makeup, uh, sewing notions, you know, English paper piecing, cross stitch, like not everything, but you could put notions in there. And then I just added this little, little loop, little finger loop so that you can pick it up easily. Uh, it could also be like a coin purse or something in your purse. My sister likes using these little pouches when she travels to put all of her cords in. So her electronics cords and keeps them all in one place. So that's a good idea too. From a couple of weeks ago, Swoon Patterns actually reposted my bag, yay! So that Bonnie Bucket bag that we made got reposted on Instagram. So if any of you have come over from there, welcome. Glad to have you here this week. And I hope that you hit the subscribe button and join our community, we would really love it. So thank you for spending time with me this week and I will catch you next week. Love you, bye.